G'day Trailblazers, my name is Cam, and for today's video I'll be taking you through the server-side JavaScript function for rows remove, showing you how it works and how you can use it to delete rows from your data extensions. The server-side JavaScript rows remove function is really similar to the script delete de function, allowing you to delete specified rows of data based on a name value configuration. Now the rows remove function is similar to the other rows functions inside of the server-side JavaScript function set, which you can find on the documentation page under server-side JavaScript, data extensions, and rows. So we can jump into one of our examples and see how it works. We can see here our birthday DE example using our rows remove function to remove all rows where the first name is equal to angel and the age is equal to 24. Well. Let's copy this code and try it out for ourselves in Marketing Cloud. So in Marketing Cloud, let's jump into my content builder, into my development work spot. I've already got my server-side JavaScript code tag ready and my core library loaded in. We can now paste that code that we copied from the sample code. And we do have to use that core library because these are not platform functions, they are functions that are part of the SSJS core library. Now our data extension initialization, of course we require a data extension key. So jump into contact builder and I'll use my add row DE. I'm going to try and delete some rows from this data extension. Jump into properties and let's get that external key. So I'll copy that key, jump back in and make that my initialization key. Of course, again, for good naming conventions, we'll also make that value the name of the data extension. So it's not birthday DE, it's my add row DE, which I can use again down here. Now, for the function of rows remove, we can specify the field and the value to search for. If I take a look in my data extension, I've got 13 rows to play with. What I might try and do is to delete the rows that have a number equal to seven. So just this one row here, I'll try and delete. So my number is equal to seven. So to do this, I can jump into my array of names and values. And I can take away this second value like this. And I can just make it where the number field is equal to seven. We're going to then remove those rows. Now I can specify a variable to output the result of that row remove. I'll call this deleted. Make deleted, uh, sorry, var deleted is equal to, and the output there. So what we'll do is we'll then variable, we'll print that variable out by using the write function, deleted, just like that. So we should hopefully see the value of one printed on the cloud page, showing us that one row was removed from our row sets from our data extension that we initialized, where the number was equal to seven, which of course we hope there's just this one row here. So let's try it out. We'll go in and we will save our content so far, then refresh our cloud page and one good start. Over in our data extension, I've got 13 rows currently. If I refresh this, down to 12, that seven is gone. All right, so looking good so far. So what about a more complex search filter? Well, we can specify additional columns in this set. We could say when number is equal to seven and where something else is also true. We look in our data, how about we use where number is equal to 111. We have three of those rows here. So we'll say when number is 311 and our text field must be equal to what? Well, what values do we have? We have angel, BBB, and CCC. Well, let's drop out BBB for now. Go back into my code and let's make the value of BBB. So where number is one on one and text is BBB, we're going to delete any rows that match that. As we know, there is just this one row here. So hopefully we have just one row deleted. Let's save our code and refresh our cloud page. It's all done, it still says one, so hopefully when we refresh this screen, we go from 12 records down to 11, perfect. Now you might be thinking, when would you try to remove rows from a data extension? Wouldn't you just rebuild the data extension or use some SQL or otherwise? Well, the utility here is if you have an everlasting data extension, one that you want to keep adding or moving customers from, for example, showing customers who purchased in the last 30 days and have a voucher or something attached, you don't want to keep rebuilding that data extension because when you do, that can break the view online link. So instead, you can keep adding customers to a data extension, such as through a journey builder activity or API, 
then once that customer has claimed or done something to remove them from that activity, you can use the SSJS rows remove to remove the applicable rows as required. Best of all, because server-side JavaScript does work in Automation Studio, you can build it into your existing rebuilding processes. For example, if your journey was triggering once per day, you can add a server-side JavaScript activity to your journey to run that cleanup action for you. So as you can see, the rows remove function in server-side JavaScript is a fantastically versatile function to use and definitely worth learning for your repertoire in Marketing Cloud. So I hope you enjoyed this quick intro and now know how to use the row remove function in your server-side JavaScript code. If you have, then please let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to give the video a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel so that you can be notified when I release more Salesforce Marketing Cloud content.